And now for the Greek of Acts uh, 16, 29 through 40, finishing up the chapter. Uh, Paul and Silas are in jail in Philippi. Uh, they've been beaten. Uh, and the magistrates don't realize that they're Roman citizens. That's illegal. Uh, and so, but they've been singing hymns at midnight, and there was an earthquake. Their, their uh, stocks became loose. They could escape, but they don't. The jailer's going to kill himself because the Romans will if he doesn't. Then Paul yells out, hey, we're still here. Don't harm yourself. And that's where we, we join uh, the story at verse 29. Uh, and having asked for lights, lights, please. Uh, Sigma Alpha tells me, Arist active. This is an Arist active participle from Iteo, nominative masculine plural. Uh, and having asked for lights, um, he rushed in. Um, sen, you should know by sen by now. What is sen? Um, Arist, active indicative third singular. What's it from? Well, not a high frequency word. In fact, I wonder if this is a hopox legomena, one a one timer. I don't know, but ace, um, ace epi deo is what I would guess, and the winner is ace pedao. Ace pedao. Okay, that works. So this is the augment pedao contract verb. Okay, to rush in, where fools rush in, and having become afeared, and having become afraid, having become trembling. Uh, this is Gin, it's the aorist of Gin, oh my, aorist, uh, middle, a deponent, participle, nominative masculine, singular. Uh, he fell at the feet of Paul and Silas, uh, ep, uh, propipto, prospipto. Uh, episen is the aorist of pipto, I've just memorized it, it's a second aorist. Sen, though, children go where I send thee. Uh, I, how shall I send thee? Aorist, active, indicative, third, singular. Uh, anyway, okay, that, if that helps you remember, great. If not, just ignore me. Okay, so verse 30. And having uh, gone, uh, led them outside, uh, he said, uh, agag, agag, agag. This is Eris, the Eris of Ago, so pro Ago. Eris, active participle, nominative masculine singular. Uh, this is from Ephiemi, uh, which means to say, this is a form that I've just memorized because it appears every once in a while. It seems to be aorist active indicative third singular from FEME. He said, Lords, direct discourse, uh, Lords, Masters, Sirs, same word, uh, what is necessary me to do in order that I might be saved? Uh, the theta tells me it's aorist passive. It is aorist passive subjunctive. The hina says, uh, a subjunctive is coming, subjunctive is coming. Uh, and it, really, it's just a, a lengthened omega is an omega. But normally, the subjunctive fries the connecting vowel. Uh, this is a present infinitive. Um, what is it necessary for me to be saved? Verse uh, 31. And they said, Arist, aping an Arist, uh, quote, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. Um, play on the word saved. He's thinking, how can my life be saved? Paul's thinking, how can my soul be saved or my eternity be sa saved? Um, believe. Uh, this is a second person singular aorist active imperative. The second person singular song is Lu E Lu U. Sorry, Lu E Lu U Lu San Lu Sai Lu Thay T. Lu San is aorist active imperative, second singular. <clears throat> Believe upon the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Theta Eta, aorist passive. Uh, the sigma here is um, future, <clears throat> future passive. Theta eta tells me it's passive, and the sigma, tell, I'm sorry, theta eta sigma means future passive. Um, uh, you will be saved. So it's uh, future passive indicative uh, second singular. Lu a mai, lu a lu a tai. So that's the second person singular. Not only will you be saved, but your house, the house of you. Verse 32, and um, they spoke, sigma alpha tells me it's aorist. There's the augment, third plural. Arist active indicative third uh, plural from laleo. They spoke to him the word of the Lord with all the in the house of him ones. Okay. And having encouraged them in that hour of the night, uh, he washed uh, from the wounds, from the from the blows, from the stripes. Uh, so this is the what is sin? How shall I send thee? Arist 
active indicative third singular and this is from luo to wash not luo destroyed but l o u o to wash and he himself was baptized don't need this cuz the he is in the third person singular here so it's intensive pronoun when autos is in the nominative it intensifies the subject he himself was baptized and the of him all and all the ones uh, of him that belonged to him immediately parakrema uh, eris passive indicative third singular from baptizo verse 34 and having led them up uh, agagagag erist anago uh, erist active participle nominative masculine singular into his house uh, he he presented a table ladies and gentlemen a magic trick no uh, food in other words he gave them table he gave them food uh, this is erist of paratithemi uh, and ethe ken, it's just the aorist of tithemi. I've memorized it at some point. Um, and they re he, he rejoiced um, with all his house. Uh, Sigma Alpha tells me it's aorist. Um, I think this is um, Agali Adzo. Um, trying to know if it's deponent or not. Let me do a quick look here. For the sake of all righteousness, agli ao no. So we're gonna. It's not deponent. So we're gonna tr parse this as aorist middle, uh, third indicative, third singular from agli ao, which is not ugly. It's rejoice. So he rejoiced with all his house, having believed upon the uh, God. So this uh, it's a little beside itself. So it's perfect. The kappa tells me it's perfect active, and this is a perfect active participle, nominative masculine singular. Let me look at something very, very quickly uh, in another Greek Bible I have here. Um, verse 30, this is verse 34. Are there any textual variants? And there aren't. Okay, not of any importance. Never mind. I had a, a guess of something that might have taken place that had it not. Okay, next paragraph. So this is the, the um, uh, j saving of the Philippian jailer. And now for the aftermath. Verse 35. And day having come to be, genitive absolute, noun in the genitive, participle in the genitive, gen tells me it's aorist, aorist middle deponent, uh, participle from genomai. Uh, day having become the, magis the magistrates, they sent the policemen, uh, the, the whoever, whatever, how police isn't quite right for us, but you know what we're talking about, the, the, um, the guards or whoever. Uh, saying, okay, so this only has one lambda, it has internal lengthening, it has an alpha, no sigma, but liquid verb. So this is the aorist of apostello, uh, aorist active indicative third singular, third plural from apostello. Um, and here's what they said, quote, release the kraken, no, release those men, the men those, demonstrative pronoun. Again, we've seen son or son, it's a second person singular, aorist, active, imperative, command. Release these men. Okay? Probably, uh, probably the verdict was, we've beaten you, leave, leave town. That's what I think. Verse 36. And the jailer, Desmo Fulax, the jailer uh, announced these words to Paul. Uh, this, again, is the aorist of Apangelo. Uh, in the present stem, it would have two lambdas, it would not have an iota, it would be elo. Uh, and then uh, it's a liquid verb, so it doesn't do a sigma, but n is a third person singular, active indicative, past tense n. Okay, and the new is a, a movable then. Okay, uh, that quote, uh, the magistrates have sent in order that you might be released. Um, so this is uh, kappa alphas, have, I'm thinking perfect. It is, this is from apostello. It is perfect, uh, active indicative, third plural from apostello. They sent, uh, they have sent rather. Um, now, therefore, having gone out, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Okay, this is, I'm taking this as an imperative. It's peru my, so it's deponent, second person plural, uh, present uh, middle deponent imperative uh, is the way I would take it. Go in peace, be going in peace. Uh, this is elf aorist. My aunt is an active participle, so this is aorist active participle, not a masculine plural, from ex ercomai, verse 37. And Paul said to them, we've seen F-A again, F-E-M-E, -E, uh, he said to them, quote, uh, having beaten us publicly without a trial, 
Um, again, rho is a liquid verb, so it doesn't do sigmas, but we have an alpha. It is indeed uh, from Darrow, I think. Oh, you know Darrow, he lives down the street. Um, anyway, this is the aorist of Darrow, internal lengthening. Um, so it's aorist active participle, non-masculine plural from Darrow. Uh, having beaten us publicly without a trial, being Roman men, uh, Roman people, uh, they cast us into prison, and now secretly us, they cast out? They're, I, I, I think they're being expelled from the city. Uh, for no, uh, no way. <laughs> but having come down themselves, let them lead us out. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to leave the city, but they're going to come and escort me from this jail. Uh, this is the aorist of Balo. Um, aorist active indicative third plural. Uh, what else? Um, uh, this is present active indicative third plural. Uh, elf, aorist, participle, aorist active participle. And then this is an imperative. The way the imperatives go is you have to memorize the second person singular, which is where the song is. Lu eh, lu u, lu sa, lu sai, lu the ti. Those are the second person singulars you just have to memorize. Then the active, there is a third person singular imperative let him, her, or it do something. There is a second person plural imperative like, uh, like this one, be going. Uh, then there is a third person plural imperative uh, that is uh, let them do something. So this is a third person plural imperative. The way the, the third person singular, second person plural, and third person plural go is to, te, tosan. So this is tosan, it's third person plural, and so it's let them lead out, and it's agagagag, it's aorist. So it's an aorist, active, imperative, third plural from ex ago. Okay, a lot of stuff today, uh, but three more verses. So, and they announced to the magistrates, we've seen this before, can you parse it? Uh, that is the jailer, the, uh, the policemen, the, the soldiers, the guards, whatever you want to call them, uh, the, the um, um, anyway, What's a good word? There's, there's, there are better words than police. Uh, they, uh, the policemen announced to the, to the magistrates the words these, and having heard that they are Romans, they were afraid. Eris passive with the theta eta. San is a third person plural, so this is eris passive indicative third plural from phobet oh my. Oh my, it's depona. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, that is this indirect discourse. Having heard uh, that they were uh, Romans. Uh, actually, it's direct, isn't it? Having heard they're Romans, uh, it's in exactly the way it would have been said, isn't it? So I guess we would say direct discourse. 39. And having gone, they encouraged them. They softened them up. And having led them out, they were asking them to go away from the city. Please leave, pretty please, with sugar on top and sprinkles. Uh, Agagag, Arist again. Sigma alpha, aorist again. So these are aorist, this is aorist indicative, aorist participle. This is imperfect here, aerotao, letters of the present stem with an augment. So this is, they were asking. Uh, elf, aorist, uh, verse 40. And having gone out from the jail, they entered uh, to Lydia, to the Lydia, to her house, I assume is what we're saying here. Elf is aorist again. And having seen them, uh, they encouraged the brothers and they left. So elf is aorist again, sigma alpha, this is aorist again, uh, and we have made it through Acts chapter 16. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we, we see these forms over and over again. If you, if you just take a moment and look at the forms that you're, you're not getting right off the bat and, and just have a, I used to call them an intense Greek moment, when the sun of knowledge fries onto your brain, you know, what that sin ending is. So if there are some forms, we've seen, we see these forms every day. Uh, so just take a moment, pick, pick one form, just pick one of these forms, like elf is aorist, or agagagag is aorist. Just pick one of the forms today and memorize it. Fry it on your brain. Take five minutes and fry that form on your brain. And then um, next video, video do, do it with something else. Okay, have a great weekend. Tomorrow's uh, uh, patrons only a podcast, I think, will probably be on the city of Philippi uh, or the church at Philippi, and I'll try to give a kind of summary view of what we know about the church at Philippi. Have a great weekend.